Hello Capricorn, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is showing up for you Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Overall energy could be someone is spying on you, could be a conversation. Let's see, Five of Wands, ooh, Five of Cups, Hangman, Eight of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, uh, you may be at a low point right now, possibly you may have had an argument with someone, you may be sad. Something is going to change though. There could be some conversation or communication with something with someone that's going to change um, where you're at. Let me do a little shuffle here. Page of Swords. What is this Page of Swords? Is this a conversation? Oh yeah, it's a fight. All right, so somebody. Now, if it's not you, then it's someone you may be hearing from shortly who probably just got into a major fight, a major blowout, maybe even breaking up. But they wanted this. No, they wanted to do this. They may have want, they may have subconsciously done this, possibly to be yeah to be free. Okay, you may be receiving a message. Okay, hang on. Because here's the here's the two of cups here. They're right here, and this person's been sad, and they have been okay. So this is like someone who hates the relationship they're in, and so they pass it aggressive or they draw it out instead of just heading it face on and saying like, I don't want to be with you. I want to break up and I'm going to move on. They create drama. They ha cause arguments. They get it to the point of the tower. Now a tower can be a breakup, but I can tell here because the page of swords a lot of times is mean and the five of wands is here. They wanted to, to create this ending in this relationship and they did it through, you know, a, like a big fight, a big blowout. I think they want to be with you. It's kind of why and I'm saying they want, they want to be free. Or it's a person who's involved in that. Now they see they're free. They're like, I'm out of this connection. I don't have to deal with this person anymore. And then there's messages coming in. Okay, what is going on here for Capricorn? What's going on here for Capricorn? Someone's out in the cold, but I think that's okay. But now they're, they're worrying. Uh, you may be dealing with a person who wasn't expecting this or something. Or now that they are out of the connection, they don't know where to go. There's an offer here, a communication. Nine of Coins and the Hermit. It might be a Virgo for some of you. We have Scorpio here also, but um, so either this is happening to you, if you're in a relationship uh, and you're not happy and you know you're not happy in a relationship, you may end up in a major fight and break up with this person and out in the cold. Um, this could be a job related, I guess, as well. This is something that you do know you get along with. It could be platonic though, because the three of coins is here, but um, meaning you've never had really a relationship with this person. But they are coming in as a nine of coins. You may have to think about this or they're thinking about it. So it depends on what end, what side you're on. If you're going towards this person, they may stop and think about this. Or if they're coming towards you, Capricorn, what is this five of coins? Wow, the 10 of cups, two of coins. Yeah, this is gonna work out. Could be you as an earth sign, or you're going towards an earth sign, fire sign. This could be you or them. The past, shining light on the past. So someone is coming towards you, Capricorn. Or again, you're deciding to go towards somebody because they're out in the cold. I'm gonna read it as them, but um, they wanna come towards you they don't know where else to go. They feel lonely and they're worrying. The two of you get along though. There's some sort of history here with you. Now it doesn't mean you guys ever dated or you know, maybe maybe you were, it doesn't matter. I think anyways, it just looks like there's a lot of happiness between the two of you, but there's something about the past. That's like, well, let, let me think about this first. Um, I'm reading this, this could be them or this could be you. Attractive. You have it together. They could be a fire sign as well, but what is the Six of Cups? What is the Six of Cups a relationship? So are you ready for this? This is gonna be something sudden is what I'm getting. This could be a friend, like you've been platonic this whole time and all of a sudden maybe they wanna just move in with you. Or you know maybe you do have feelings for them, they're breaking up and now all of a sudden they want to move in with you so because they have no place else to go. Uh, what is it? No, it looks like you guys, again, I'm going to repeat myself. I'm sorry, but it looks like you'd be happy. It looks like you guys have a lot of fun together, but I'm sure there's other things going on here. The two of, yeah, you having to make a decision. 
Now, the three coins also, just so you know, could mean like, yes, there is a third person still involved in the situation. Usually that tells me though they're not sleeping with them. It's not like the three of cups. Because once they've broken up the tower, that they're out of that situation. Um, so I, I feel like this, this past situation, they haven't wanted to be in anyways. They just didn't handle it the best way. Instead of breaking up, they let it kind of fall apart. Um, what are you feeling and thinking, Capricorn? You're here both masculine and feminine, but oh, I think you're happy. Five of Swords to me is like, yes. They're coming towards me. The Three of Cups is under there. That's interesting. Okay. What is this King of Coin energy, which also could be you or them? You may feel weighed down by this. Okay. Could be a move, possibly. Okay, no, I'm feeling, feeling like you have to burden this. But that's why I thought earlier, that's why I said, are you ready for this? This is gonna be something that could bring some drama into your life. Who's the queen of wands? I'm reading this as you, but let's clarify just in case. 10 of coins. I feel like this person views you as this energy here, put together, financially sound. Um, also, so keep it, not that they're not coming in for your money. I don't see that at all here. But it's showing me that you are viewed as being financially, you know, well off or you're doing good or something like that. Like they could feel comfortable with you or something like that. So what is the hair font and the outcome? Nine of wands. Justice. Okay. First thing I'm getting is that if you move in together, it may be a bit disruptive to your overall life and the flow. It's kind of obvious, but I just nine of wands to the ten of wands. Um there may be some things to sort out. They may be bringing mama drama if they have children with anybody else with them. That's obviously not for everyone, but that could be. Um, but you know what I'm getting also now? I'm getting the foot coin of it is that some of you have been waiting for this person because kind of my first reaction was you have been waiting for this. You've been waiting for this person to leave their now ex or soon to be ex, you've been waiting for this because you seem in the Five of Swords to be happy. Because I usually take that in that type of position as you saying, yes, I'm getting what I want. So it could be that you've waited for a while for this and you've been waiting for this person to come toward you or something like that. What is the Five of Swords? We're gonna go to some oracles. Yeah, see, you feel victorious. Okay. You may have a very happy home or life with this person, to be very honest, because I'm seeing a lot of love here. I'm not gonna lie. I saw a lot of love here. I don't know why I would lie, but I mean, I wouldn't, but you know, just the phrase. I see a lot of love there, so it's not like this couldn't work for some, you know what I'm feeling? You know why I say it that way? I feel like you both have excuses of why this can't work. And you like don't want to um, expect too much too soon. You really wanna be with this person. This person really wants to be with you, but you guys are all, you're afraid of what everything could go wrong is what I'm picking up. And I feel like you could sabotage this, or they could, not just you, them, both of you. But I feel like, no, this is something, okay, so it's kind of like a third party in a sense where you guys have always wanted to be with each other, but other people have been involved. So you guys have kept your distance to please everyone else. So it's like a true, it's truly like we wanted to be together this whole time, but you've always tried to do the like quote, I put in quotes, the right thing. And you made other people happy. And that type of energy is kind of what I'm picking up. Where I kind of feel like if you just kind of just say, like I feel tension between the two of you and I feel like there shouldn't be tension. Just let it go, breathe out, be happy you're together. It's like what you've always wanted, you finally want it, but it kind of feels like it's tainted by the past, tainted by other people. Uh, what is the check-in? What is the message past, present, or future? Someone has been disappointed up until now, but there's a new beginning. There's been some sort of sadness. See, I'm saying there's some sadness, but this is true love. See, that's kind of what I'm picking up on. Maybe some regrets about how the past was handled. You guys may come together and have to have a deep conversation about the way things went down in the past, um, how, how it was left, what happened. But I think once you get over that, you guys can have a new beginning here. That's very, because I do see true love here. I see it right here. You guys get along very well, like two peas in a pod. What? Let's go to this deck really quick also. What does this person want to say to you, Capricorn? What does this person want to say to you, Capricorn? Okay, you are worth fighting for, and I see that here. Will you open your heart up again to me? 
nobody compares to you. I never truly moved on even though I appear so. And one more please. I carry guilt for the way I mistreated you. And I'm picking that up. There's a guilt. Sometimes the ten of wands is guilt. So I feel like you guys both hurt each other along the way. You both said things or did things or... Um, but I feel like it came out of like frustration because you couldn't be together. Frustration because other people were getting involved or they they you felt like you had to be with the certain other person and you know it felt kind of like you took some of your anger out on each other when it was misdirected and, and they weren't really mad at you and you weren't mad at them. It was just kind of hard to explain, but I can kind of see what's going on here. Okay. So this person may be coming to you fresh off an argument, a fight. They may be feeling kind of alone or out in the cold. So there could be a lot going on all at once. So just take it slow. So let's actually ask the universe, where is the deck? There it is over here. Is your advice, spirit, for Capricorn? What is the advice? New love. That's great. New love or recommitment to love is developing. Perfect. And is there anything Capricorn needs to be aware of? This is faded. This is a faded and destined partnership. And under the deck, it says true love. True love, true love. You see that? Wow. That's amazing. Anything else, Spirit? Let's go to this one. Because this one has wedding in it or all the good cards. What is going on here? What is going on here for Capricorn? Lion. So harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently. Might be a, a um, Leo involved for some of you. One more, please. Judgment, soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. And do we see commitment or wedding bells or anything like that also on the horizon? One of you might already be married though. I was just thinking about that just now. No, it's not possible, but let's just see. Oh, it says dragonfly, it says, have confidence during the time of great joy, renewal, and connection to spirit and to each other. So I am going to leave it there, Capricorn. Have a great week, you guys.